As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither was the men's basketball program here at the University of Central Florida. The tenure of head coach Kirk Spiro is a storied one in itself. But let's take you back to the beginning, to a time of FTU, heated rivalries, and a basketball program that never experienced a losing season when it played torchy ball. It began as a club level, and the first coach was, was Torchy Clark. Several of his acquaintances had moved down here to, to begin the university's athletic program. And they called Torchy up, sort of with the promise of creating the Marquette of the South down here. And to a large degree, uh, he did do that at the, at the Division II level. It was, it was a program that excelled. That first year, the year I was there, 70 to 71, we only had, uh, there was only a few scholarships, and they were taken. So most of these kids came out there walk-ons. They just want to play ball. The, the desire was there and uh, it was very limited. There was no gymnasium. The teams played their games all over the city. We were playing uh, whoever would play us. We had a few military bases, which had great basketball because they had ex-college players in the military. And they had to play those games after Winter Park High School was done with them for the night. So games time for nine o'clock in, in a lot of cases. We didn't draw big crowds starting out, but uh, we had a nice group of support from the students. It was a very small school at the time. It was a glorious sport in a lot of ways. Um, it was because the basketball program that Torchy built brought the campus together where there was, for the first five, six, seven years of, of the school's existence, there was nothing to pull the student body together. And the basketball program really did that. I think people cared, and then as he uh, started winning, it brought people out the press and uh, some of his uh, antics and some of his uh, electricity and chemistry. Uh, it was actually a show and people, some people even quoted say, I, I paid to come see Torchy perform. What drew the fans to Torchy was, was his personality. He, he, he wasn't the biggest man that, uh, that ever lived, but his, his personality was huge. He's a tough guy. He may be a little man of stature, but he's got the heart of a lion. If he disagreed with the call and the ball happened to be anywhere near him, he would hold the ball behind his back until he had his say with the refs. Uh, he would grab a player and just basically hurl him into the game to try to get somebody out that he thought wasn't performing as well as he would. He'd throw his jacket on the floor, he'd kick chairs, he'd sit at the end of the bench and just yell at the referees and players. And sometimes even when he got fed up, he would just kind of wander up into the stands and talk to him students in the stands about their love life or their classes, how they were doing. They didn't call him Torchy for nothing, put it that way. All right, there's a reason why. <laughs> he was also a member of the faculty and, the, and one of the best teachers and most beloved teachers that a lot of our students have had over the, over the years, just until a few years ago. In the classroom, you know, I, I run into folks all the time that talk about Torchy Clark. Man, I had Torchy for, for, for an instructor and you know his his sports psychologist, Dante Culpepper. I met Dante one night and he loved Torchy Clark. Torchy's program was built largely on, on Torchy's personality and it wasn't, wasn't with the facilities that he was given. I think he took a bunch of nomads, meaning us players from Wisconsin, from Boone High School, from Winter Park, from Evans, no gym, and he found a way to make us click, to make us compete. The unique thing about Torchy was he could extract out of you every bit of what talent you had. He'd bring it out of you. He always said, if I could take my gut out and put it in you guys, we'd be unbelievable because he had this tenacity about it. And I know this, if you give, uh, if everything's equal and you give Torchy Clark the same equal talent this other guy's got in Division I, and you put them together, he'll beat you in the end if you're not careful. He will, he, he doesn't quit till the buzzer's off. 